Jefferson starts the game out with possession here, and it's J.R. Reese keeping it on the play action, scampering for 11 yards before being brought down by the Patriot defense. J.R. Reese and the Falcons go back to the play action here, and it's J.R. Reese hooking up with Vinny Janaka for the 60-yard touchdown pass, and Jefferson takes the early 7-0 lead. Lenape gets the ball back now, and it's James Fluke for the Pats, making Falcon tacklers miss, and returns the kickoff 45 yards all the way out to midfield, where Lenape will set up first and 10. Lenape Valley keeps the drive alive here as it's junior quarterback Ryland Pangborn rolling out, hitting running back Dom LaBelle right at the sticks for a 15-yard gain and a Patriot first down. And the Patriots would get on the board here after the 23-yard field goal by James Fluke to make it 7-3 Jefferson with 3.28 left in the first quarter. The Falcons are driving here on their next possession and it's J.R.E.'s shaking and baking his way through the hole when the ball is jarred loose and coming out of the pile with it is Richard Frisky for the Lenape Valley Patriots and they take over deep in their own end. Second quarter action we go now and Lenape Valley would cash in on that turnover here as Dom LaBelle bounces it to the outside. He finds daylight and will take it 70 yards to the house for six, and Lenape would take a 9-7 lead after the missed PAT. Jefferson would answer on their next drive, and it gets off to a great start here as J.R. Reese throws a perfect pass to Tyler Jones, who gets behind the Patriot defense and picks up 47 yards all the way down to the Lenape Valley 18-yard line. And then a couple of plays later, it's J.R. Reese to Tyler Jones, hooking up again, this time for the 34-yard touchdown pass for the Falcons. And they get 13-9 after a failed PAT with 9.07 remaining for halftime. Jefferson will get the ball back here after a three and out by Lenape Valley, and they will look to score once more before halftime. And breaking out for a big run is Kyle Neuschatz, and it's a foot race to the end zone, and Neuschatz is knocked out just at the two-yard line. It will be first and goal for Jefferson. And then on the very next play for Jefferson, it's Kyle Neuschatz again, following up a 62-yard run with a two-yard touchdown run here to make it 20-9 Falcons at the half. Third quarter now, and Lenape is desperately trying to get back into this game, and it's Ryland Pangborn looking for Dom LaBelle, but the Jefferson defense executes a perfect tip drill, and the ball is picked off by Kyle Neuschatz, and the Jefferson Falcons take over first and 10 on their own 40. Jefferson is now looking to salt this one away, and it's J.R.E. shifting his way through the Lenape Valley defense. This time for the 37-yard touchdown run. It gives J.R.E. his third touchdown of the game, making it 27-9 Jefferson late in the third. Lenape Valley is desperate for some points here. Once again, it's the Jefferson defense coming through with another deflected pass and interception, this time by Austin Blood, and the Falcons will go on to win. 29 to 7, moving to 2 and 0. Let's go down to the field for post game reaction. We decided everybody has to play their role. I was just playing mine, and our running back Kyle Newshots was doing his job. Jr. was passing the ball nice. He was running too. It's always great to be Lenape. They're a tough team. It was a redemption game for me personally. I had a big fumble against them last year, so it's great to come out and get a win. Lenape always brings out a good team. They always have good kids. They graduated a lot of seniors, but it's still always a challenge. I mean. It was a good win for us, big win in front of a big crowd. Always a nice win, first home game. It was a good time, had a lot of fun. Good win, but uh, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we, let, we had a lot of touchdowns that we could have had. Like uh, I had that one run, but it got called back for clipping. Uh, I, I should have threw a touchdown down there, but I underthrew him and threw a pick. Then I fumbled right there. Like I'll, I'll take a lot of responsibility for that. But uh, overall, I'm happy with the win, but we definitely have some room for improvement. It wasn't pretty, but a win's a win. Don Smolin always has his uh, teams ready, and we knew Coach Smolin would have his team prepared to play us. So we knew it was going to be a tough road. And uh, the kids uh, stayed with the game plan, and I was happy about that. But there's things we have to clean up, bad penalties and uh, turnovers. You know, we left a lot of points on, on the field here. So there's still things we have to clean up. We, we did respond. We, we did uh, become a better team, but we have uh, work cut out for us. It's not only the Jefferson Falcon offense that teams should be aware of, it's just Jefferson Falcon defense as well. They came through with two interceptions and a fumble recovery, and their offense was able to take care of the rest in great field position. Yeah, our defense was good, but we still got a lot of work to do. We got to still practice on our blitzing, our defense, and just our pass coverage. Our D played tough. We let a couple big plays up, but we're going to have to crack through this week and move on to Dover. Our defense has been stepping up big lately. We gave up, I think, like 15 points in two games, so 
I mean, they're they're the unsung team. We have great linebackers and Mike Barkley and Tyler Zimmerman and great D-line, great D-backs. It's just a good all-around team. Falcons off to a great start in their 2013 campaign. 2-0, and a nice win at home against Lenape Valley, but they'll take their talents on the road to a very tough Dover team next week in the Freedom Division. We got a lot. We got a long week ahead of us. We got to practice. We got to practice every position, and we just got to keep working. Against Dover, they have some good talent. They have a great running back in George. We just got to focus on him, make sure we can cancel him out, but we got to make sure everyone else is covered too. It was a good team. That was a good team. They were a good team last year, and uh, – we're hoping that we take the momentum from this game into Dover and we can come through with the win. We have a work cut out for us. I, mean, I told them we're going to have uh, a Tuesday and Wednesday practice that we're going to definitely have to work hard and prepare for Dover. We know they're terrific. That running back scale is terrific. So we, we got to get at it. We got to get better. We got to get better at tackling. We, we have to get better at just lining up defensively at times.